Right now, students in Bonner Springs are paying tribute tonight to one of their own who died following a traffic crash. Senior Seth Davidson was in a crash last Saturday and he died Thursday. He was a special needs student known and loved by everyone at his high school. KCTV5's Betsy Webster is live for the football game just wrapped up with more on how Seth was honored. Betsy. Well, Ellen Brad, you know what was interesting? Everyone I spoke with said the same thing again and again about Seth. He always held open the door. That's right, every morning when school started, he'd go to the front entrance, hold the door open for each and every student, and greet them with a smile. When the pep squad ran out with the Braves flags, they ran out as superheroes in honor of Seth. You see, Seth was big on Batman and a big presence among the Bonner Springs Braves. He was always there running around with a big smile on his face at school. You could never miss him. And especially if I was upset through school or something, he would come and poke my shoulder or scare me coming around the corner or something just to make me laugh, to have a better day. He always put smiles on people's faces. Seth was in a high school special needs program. This costume was his favorite. His aunt described him as 18 going on eight. He had his own little world, his own little mind which was made him different, made him special. Seth's aunt has been caring for him since his mom died six years ago. She watched the cheerleaders wearing Batman logos, selling pins and bows to help with funeral costs. Ladies and gentlemen, a moment of silence for our superhero, Seth Davis. She stood in front of the pep squad for a moment of silence. She doesn't typically go to football games, but this was one she couldn't miss. It is unreal watching them run around in bat capes because that's what he did all the time. So it's, it's, it's awesome. This is his hat. It's not mine, it's his. So. The tributes, like the band playing the Batman theme at halftime, were simultaneously heartwarming and heartbreaking. This is all for Seth. I mean, I had no idea the magnitude that these kids, he had on these kids. So yeah, I had to come see this. And, you know, Bonner Springs was able to get Seth a victory tonight, beating at Blue Valley Southwest 10 to 7. As for the wreck itself, Bonner Springs police have told us very little, just the time and location. About 12.30 p.m. on Saturday on Kansas Avenue, just east of the Walmart. And Seth's aunt says police have told her next to nothing as well. Live in Bonner Springs, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, he clearly affected so many people. Betsy, thank you. And Seth's family has a GoFundMe account set up for funeral costs and say anything left after that will be donated to the school's special needs program.